Today we'll review the ASOS S7 Ring Booty. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. In today's review, I want to introduce you to ASOS S7 Ring Booty. I want to go ahead and just kind of put them on. The material in here, that, what I like is that there is no DWR, durable water repellent treatment, any kind of stuff like that. The fabric is simply keeping water out. I mean, whatever the material is, is like plasticky or whatever. So you know there's no water going through this thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on, see how it fits. The sizing is a little weird. So when you're buying it, I had to get what they call the, uh, they got like a one and a two on their sizing. And then they've got a size chart that tells you which shoe sizes fall in one and two. So I fell in the two sizing because I wear 45 euro, which is like 11 US. Let me take the, cut the tag off. I always use scissors for these because these things are easily damaged if you try to force that out, those little T plastic junctions they have on there. There's a little bit, there's a book of, I'm not sure what's in this, why you'd need a book with a pair of rainbow tees, but all they've got are pictures in here. And it really doesn't pertain to, it doesn't pertain to the product. They're just selling you other Ossos products, including other leg warmers and other booties that you can get. So it's just really a sales booklet that's attached to this little card that's going to go in the trash bin. The, uh, the price point on the S7 was reasonable, so I decided to give it a shot. The zipper's on the side, which um, my research has proven that a lot of them are doing that because it, uh, it prevents water from getting easily into the booty, somehow putting the zipper on the side. In addition, they've got like a little flap under the zipper. Let's come up closer so you can see. So right here, They've got a flap that will keep water out. Whatever this material is, will keep water out. Uh, the zipper itself is kind of a rubberized zipper, but then the body of the zipper looks like no water can get through. So everything in here is designed to keep water out. They're not playing. And you can see when you zip it up, this is waterproof. The entire thing is waterproof. There's no question about this. The bottom is reinforced. I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but it's very tough. That's for your heel. And then the front of the shoe, which is where all the traffic is, very tough. So they, they, they didn't play. They put a lot of thought into this. This is very durable. The edge around that's going to go around your cleat is elasticized and stitched really well. That's going to go around the cleat. So let me put them on so you can see what they look like. These are all the things. This is the area I'm focusing on all my, as far as rain is concerned. Um, I've got the gloves sorted. Uh, those of you who have seen the other review of the Sportful glove, that's just another addition because I have waterproof deep winter gloves from Rafa that keeps water out completely. So I'm trying to get shoe covers now that will keep water out completely. And then I'll be completely prepared head to toe. So let me see how it gets on. Make sure you get the right size because this is a little stretchy, but it's not going to perform miracles if you get something that's too small. Like all shoe covers, clear the cleat. So I'm getting the back over the cleat and it starts to get on. You want to work it on. Don't get too rough with it. And once, once it gets near the cleat on the front, you want to look at the bottom again because you want to get this over your cleat so that it can fit the shoe. You don't have to do it underneath. You can just put your hand under here and make sure you pull the opening over the cleat. If you don't do that, you, you stretch it too much and you, you could probably ruin it. So my first impression is that it fits the shoe very well. I'm not fighting to get it in place. The front 
looks very rugged. It's got like a bit of a point here. And of course, they got the ASOS logo right there. Which is a nice touch. It's not too gaudy. So now the front is on. As you can see, you want to make sure your your this is not in the way when you're clipping in. Like any any shoe cover. It almost looks like a, that's what they call it booty. It's like a boot for your shoe. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling the bottom towards the heel of the shoe as I work the top. I'm taking my time just for this review because usually it wouldn't take that long. It just feels a little snug and I want to make sure I don't ruin it. So I've got the front in place. I've got it all over the shoe. You can see me working the top. See that top's in there. The bottom's a little bunched up, which is normal for these things with their side zip. And you see me working it towards the back, towards the heel of the shoe. It feels a little tight as you get towards the back of the shoe. So I'm working the bottom towards the heel. I'm pulling the heel. Let me do it this way. Maybe you'll see it on camera. I'm pulling the heel over the back of the shoe while I work the side like this. And you see it now. It's in place. Well, if you don't pull this, all of this part is very tight. You got to pull underneath here to get it in place. And then this other side gets in there. So that's the best way to put it on. It fits really well. I love how rugged the front looks. So I'm going to bring the camera and put it on the ground. So you guys can see me put on the second one because... You have to see this up close to appreciate it. <sighs> Let's bring this camera so you can see what I'm talking about. <sighs> so, look at the front of it. This is the, it looks like a military boot. Let me turn it to the side. Look, how, look at that whole area. The protective thing is right there. Then the other thing is this. Listen. The silicone or something is almost right here. Thick rubber. It's like a rubberized. The entire band is rubber, rubberized and it's up against your skin. Nice and snug. So that's going to keep water from going in easily. Then look at the back. Very protective. What I try to do when I put these on is to make sure that this that I walk on this does not get in the way. That's how you end up ruining your booties. I want to make sure that this is not touching the red that you see there. So you pull this down because this is a little further back. I'm going to pull this down a little bit because I want this part to be a little forward so that when you walk, you're only walking on your shoe, not the cover. You see that? You got to make sure right here, this is not covered. Same thing there. And you can see they're under. You want them to be under there because you walk here. That's important. But look how it looks. Okay. When they wrote the write-up on this, this is the one where they said, as the day gets warmer, this membrane expands and breathes. When it gets colder, this membrane contracts. So this is not just for rain, it's for cold as well. So this is like a one booty for everything you're using. It will keep you warm and it breathes. I don't know how they did it with this material, but this must be some special material. I'm gonna put the second one on so you can see. I like the ones that have zippers that make it easier. The ones that don't have zippers are hard to get on the shoe. Some people end up having to put them on their shoe before they wear it. I don't like that. So you can see all I'm doing is slipping it on. I'm going to pull, pull down towards the ground so that it clears my cleat. That's what you do. As you bring it back, you push down and bring it over. Then you come to the top of the shoe. Bring that over and you just work it back. You don't have to look under the shoe. You can see now that's the heel that has passed my cleat. My cleats are here now. I'm going to work it back. Come back to the top. 
work it over the shoe. If your shoe has a lot of exposed Velcro, it can be a pain, it can get in the way. But this material, I don't think Velcro will hurt it. So as you see, I pulled, push down to the ground, pull it back. Then the front, the top, it gets in the folds of your straps, like my Velcro straps. So you wanna make sure you lift a little bit. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna just lift it off the shoe just a little. As you see, I pull it back. And look at the nose getting in place. Now look, my cleats are showing. So now I'm gonna reach here in this opening and work this back over the cleat. That's what you want to do. And then at the, at the front. So it will basically, get, the toe is not getting on the shoe. But you want to make sure that under here, let me lift my foot like this. Yeah, the back of my cleats, I've got to get that over my cleats. And the best way I found to do that is try to get your hand in there. You don't need to fight it. Yeah, you see? This needs to be in front. And you just work that in front. And I'm doing all of this, as you see, with just my foot in its regular position. So you don't have to look under the shoe. You just got to take your time and work it in. Now you can see all these folds on the top. I'm going to work it over the shoe. So the front is in place now. See that? I like that it goes under there so you can be, you'll be able to clip in with no interference. And then it's back here behind. Now, what I found is... This is where I had the hassle the last time. I'm going to turn the camera this way so you can see. When, when the, with the zipper side, you can see it's all bunched up here now because now the front is clear. So you got to work this back like this. The zipper's on this side like that. So when I was doing the other, other foot, this right foot, I found that it was easier to go ahead and Work everything over. So I've pulled it all the way at the top now. It's all the way to the ankle. Then come underneath. Hold this. You want to do it from both sides. So I'm holding this on this side. Then I'm going to work this side as well. So let me be, maybe I can turn the camera this way. But you want to get both sides at the back together. So I've got my hands in the hole like this, the tough hole, the heel hole, you see? As you work that towards the back, make sure you work this side too where the zipper is because you want to clear that heel. That's where the pressure right here is catching on my heel. So I want to make sure I get it off of that red heel right there. It's a lot of pressure. You don't want it too much pressure on the zipper. So what I'm doing here is, let me move the camera this way. What I'm doing here is, I'm working the, the side opposite the zipper. See this is the heel. I'm working the heel on the shoe right there. And then the zipper side, I'm also holding the heel. I'm bringing both heels like this. So I'm holding the heel on both sides of the shoe. And it's important that you, you know, you, you do it carefully because you're going to do this a lot so you don't ruin your booties. I've got both of the heels on both sides and I'm pulling them back to the heel. And look, you see that? They just slip on. Back to the heel. And look, you see that? They just slip on. It's very elasticized. The heel is elasticized. But what you don't want to do is do just one side at one time because then you will put a lot of pressure on the zipper and then you can break your zipper that's how a lot of people damage booties not just this one just in general so the key was hold the heel on both sides when it bunches up under here pull it back and it just notches onto onto the back of your foot together that's the key and that takes the pressure off of the zipper and now on this side the entire thing is on so once you get the whole thing on, that's when you want to zip. But you can see my shoe is showing. So you want to make sure this sits right there. Make sure these do not contact that red thing. That's what you walk on. Don't let your nice heel protector get over on top of this red thing. Let it be down like that. And you can just, you can just do that by feel, by running your hand under it and making sure. 
and now that it's all in place, then you can zip because there's no pressure on the zipper now because it's in place. Don't try to zip it before you get it in place. You can break your zipper. And look at that. This is what this is the ASOS S7. Put both of them together. They look really cool. I mean, I'll put this over here and see if I can get a side shot there. Look at that. I love form fitting things. So now, let me go back and put the camera up on the stand. These are not just for rain. They will work in cold weather. They will work in cool temperatures because as the temperature goes up, so like 18 C, 20 C, this, the membrane it starts to open up and increase, it increases breathability. That's what the write-up said. So I will put it to the test, but I just wanted you to know that it's for rain, cold, whatever. As it gets colder, the membrane tightens up. Same thing, I guess that's how it resists water. But this material is waterproof. I don't need to spray it with water. It's waterproof. I mean, it's just, I don't know how they did it, but I showed you how this thing grabs your leg. They've got the biggest silicone band that I've seen on any rain shoe. So yes, I'm blown away. I don't know what this is on the inside, all this stuff. It kind of looks cool, like the technical stuff, the care. They've got the care, you know, I'm not sure why you need an old laundry. I mean, what are you going to do with this? Wash it in cold water and hang it. You can't do anything else. I'm sure that's what's on there. But it's got all the laundry stuff and the ASOS Switzerland stuff on there. That's what you see on here. Okay, so I hope this will help both of, uh, those of you that are looking for shoe covers. But I believe this will be one of the things that will cinch the problems I'm having with, with my footwear in the rain. Because this bad boy, no water is getting through. It may try to get in up here, which it does on any booty, but when it's cold and wet, I usually put my tights over this thing anyway to slow down that process. But with that band, that huge band, the entire band you see here is silicone. So that, that, that's the biggest one I've seen and it really grabs you. See that? So, you know, water try, tries to get in there, but I think that that's the only weak point, and that's that, that's the part problem with every one of them out there. But I think the fact that the band is that wide, just spray would probably be okay. It would probably only happen on a day where I'm wearing knee warmers and not tights, because the tights will slow it down. So I'm very pleased with these. I love the way they look. You know, the front looks like you're wearing military boots. So hope this helps those of you get the K's in in all kinds of weather.